Hi, I'm Ella Rosenfeld with Anteater TV and UC Sports.com. I'm here with senior middle blocker Jason Agopian after a three-game sweep of UC San Diego in the Bren. Jason, you're going into playoffs next weekend. Tell us a little bit about what this win is going to mean and this kind of dominant win, like I said, how it's going to push you into playoffs. Um, for us, the way we want to look at a win like this, especially against San Diego, is that um, like it's something to where we could test how disciplined we are, right? And it can it can help propel us. You know, if, if we lost, if, like if we beat them in four, if we beat them in five, or something like that, or even lost to them going into playoffs, that that would affect you know our, our minds and, and and how we play. Right. Um, but yeah, we just have to stick point to point against San Diego, and so that's just kind of how we've been trying to play our game this year, and so yeah, it's it's helping us play um, and push towards the playoffs. Right. And tonight is senior night, and as a redshirt junior, you know, you're really close with the guys who are graduating. Yeah. Talk a little bit about kind of what their presence on the court means and kind of what they bring that's going to be missing next year. I, I mean a lot. You, you think about Michael Brinkley, who started in the league for four years. He made an impact his freshman year. We won a national championship and so on. Um, as a libero, I mean, you, you, anybody could hit a ball back here in any of this area, and, and, and he's going to dig the ball. Even when they hit across the court, yeah. like, you see him running around the court. So we're going to miss that. And, then, and Zach, I mean, an athletic lefty opposite, he comes up and he can just put so many balls away. Um, I mean, you don't see it, but even in practice and matches and, and being able to see how he plays and interrelates with the team is just great. And he's just a fun guy to have in the gym, um, which is uh, a big part aside from his physical abilities. Um, and then we have Berto, and, and, and Nip always says this about Berto, but he's always so cool. Yeah. And, and even when he came in tonight, like his first set was just so smooth. Um, and so so with him, it's, it's always cool to have him on the court because he's a calming presence. Right. Um, and then we have Travis Wilson, and, and like everybody always talks about, like he has so much fire and so much energy. And so we can always count on him to like get in somebody's face or like give us that extra spark that's going to help us win the match. Yeah, definitely. And what do you think you're going to do next year to step up in that leadership position because you will be a fifth year senior on the team? Um, I mean, I'm going to continue to play and do what I've done. I don't think that there's something that I, I, I want to change because right. it's like, oh, I'm a senior now, so now i now I got to change what I've been doing this whole time. And so, I mean, I'm going to continue to try to lead and I'm going to continue to try to play my best and, and focus on how I can get better and how I can help the team improve. And I think if everybody takes that mentality, whether they're a senior or freshman, um, the team will get better. And that's what I'm going to do. Right. And talk a little bit about playoffs this year. You guys are hosting, which is awesome. Um, how do you think it's going to be? I, I, I think it's going to be so cool. Yeah. I mean, like when, when we get this place packed out and, and the energy is just, just so high, I, I love that. And so being able to host, um, well, first we got to win this first match. Right. Uh, so on the offensive has really developed. You've matured a lot as a player. Talk about kind of offensively what you've been working on in practice to really be a force at the net. Um, I mean, for me, it's, it's always been getting up quick. And, right. and so um, the timing of, of my approach to when he's going to set the ball. And so when I focus on that, I'm up quick and you hit the ball fast and, right. and you're going to have a lot more success. Um, that's something that in the earlier years I would struggle with more so. And so when you're late, you know, you get touched and and, uh, and whatnot. And so, that's what I've worked on, and, and yeah, it's, it's, it's helped a lot this year. Right. And, you know, practices, you guys have been going really hard now since the beginning of winter. What is the atmosphere like now that it's getting close to the end of the season? Um, the atmosphere is its not exactly the same. Um, when we started at the beginning of the season, we were going, like, full three-hour right. practices for, uh, for each practice on top of lifting. So we were training really, really hard, but as the season progresses, um, people's bodies start taking away right. and tear, and so you, you can't be doing practices that long because you're not going to be able to perform out here on the mat right. or on the court. Um, and so that's kind of how it is. Practices are shorter. Um, we talk a lot about like what, what we can do mentally, like how we can continue to, to, to help project us into the playoffs right. and project us to another win. Um, yeah, I think that, that <laughs> answers it. Yes, I mean, we're just all getting the, the mindset of playoffs coming around, so right. everybody's, you can kind of feel it in the gym. It's cool. Definitely. Well, thanks so much, and good luck in playoffs. Thank you. And once again, I'm Ella Rosenfeld with UCIrvineSports.com and Anteater TV. It was a great three-game sleep in the Bren tonight, but the playoffs are just starting for the Anteaters. Thanks so much for watching.